up guys my name is B Radical Beats and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a free thumbnail using Google drawings so the first thing that we have to do is sign into our Gmail account now if you don't have a Gmail account just go ahead and make one so I'm gonna sign in right here once you're signed in you want to go up to the top right hand corner and then you want to click here and then you want to go to more and then you want to click even more from Google and then after you can scroll down, you can see that they have a bunch of different applications that you can use. But the one that we're using today is Google Drawings. So go ahead and find that and click on it. Once you get to Google Drawings, it should open to a page like this. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to use a background for your thumbnail. So that's the first thing that I do. So I'm going to go over here and type in blue background. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different backgrounds. So I'm going to pick a simple one like this. Just copy and then paste it to Google Drawings. Okay, once you do that, you need to include text. So you go to insert and you go to text box and then you just drag it across. Make sure that when you choose text, you wanna choose something that looks cartoonish, nothing like Arial or Times New Roman. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click luckiest guy and if you notice at the bottom there's more fonts if you don't like any of the fonts that are included here so right now i'm going to type in this is the best thumbnail ever there we go and then i'm going to highlight that increase it to 72 font and then change it change the font to white Okay, so now that you do that, you have to readjust the image. So we have it right here. That looks pretty, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna drag that down. And if you wanna include extra features, you can actually go to insert and you can go to word art. It does the same thing, except you can add more features like adding a border to your text, etc. So now that we've gotten this down and we have the words, we need to find an image. So let's go and type in Google Drawings. Make sure that when you pick an image, you want one with a transparent background. And to solve that problem, if you can't find one, you just type in the word that you want and then you type transparent background. I'm gonna go ahead and select this image over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna paste it onto here. Now that we have this image, I'm just gonna resize it so it looks in proportion to the text. All right, so this looks pretty good so far. Um, there is some missing areas like this top right hand corner. So I'm going to insert another text box. I'm going to go ahead and change it to luckiest guy because we're lucky and then change it to 72 font like before and change it to white. Type in free and you can't see it just yet, but you'll see it in just one sec. There we go. Free. Once you adjust it to your liking, now we're gonna add some extra features that Google has to offer. So I'm gonna go over to insert, I'm gonna to go to shapes, then I'm gonna click arrows, and I'm gonna click this arrow right here. Once I do that, got a nice white arrow, but that's not the color I want. So you go to fill, and then you fill it to whatever color you think looks best. So I'm gonna fill it to this color because it looks like the Google drawing image. And I'm gonna point it right here, you can even do things like get rid of the border. So you can go to this and it gets rid of the border from the arrow. It looks a little bit better, I think. And if you don't like the color of your background, another thing that you can do is you just click the background, you right click, then you go to image options right here, go to recolor, go to no recolor, and boom, they have a whole bunch of different colors. So if you don't like blue, you can pick red. If you don't like red, you can pick yellow, you can pick purple, whatever. So I'm gonna pick this image right here. It's different from the color that we had before and hey, it looks pretty nice. It actually stands out a little bit more than it did before. The last thing that I'm gonna to add to this image is just a black border. To do that, you just click the background and then you go to line color and then you select what, whatever line color you want. In this case, I picked black. And then you go over to weight and then I clicked sized eight. Once you finished your image, what you want to do is you want to save it to your desktop. So what I like to do is I use Snip Tool, which is an application that comes with Windows. And then what you do is once you have it, you click new, and then you select the image that you want, like so. 
and you just save it to your desktop. And if you're a Mac user, all you have to do is hold down shift and command plus four, and you should be able to crop any part of the screen. So there you have it guys. I hope you really like this tutorial. This is a very simple thumbnail, but it's also very effective. Make sure that you comment down below and you like this video and thanks for watching.